people and welcome you're watching news x with me devika chopra top focus right now are the polls in kashmir baramulla is set to head to polls in the fifth phase of the lok sabha elections 2024 it is one of the five lok sabha constituencies of jammu and kashmir after a record voter turnout in sirinagar baramulla is all geared up for the elections in the last polls in 2019 baramulla witnessed a voter turnout of 34.6% In the Lok Sabha 2024 elections, it is a battle now between Omar Abdullah of the NC, Sajid Ghani Loan, and Sheikh Rashid, who is contesting as an independent in this particular election. We've, in fact, just a few days ago had a conversation with uh, Mr. Omar Abdullah as well on uh, what he feels is the pulse. But I have a very interesting lineup of guests with us. I have. Uh, Ajaz Hussain senior BJP leader we also have with us uh, Shahzada Bashir democratic uh, spokesperson of the DAP Irfa Jahan NC and Utpal Kaul a uh, Kashmiri pandit with us as well let me begin this conversation with uh, Irfa Jahan if i can Irfa Jahan it is being said that uh, engineer Rashid is giving a tough competition to Omar Abdullah as far as Baramulla is concerned despite being jailed he is uh, making some waves uh, how does the nc feel about that how does the nc respond you see i don't know why this matter has come up now because if you saw in 2019 we had the in 2019 we had the exact same candidates the engineer rashid sahab was not in jail at that time and he was openly canvassing and he was openly attending campaign meetings and canvassing for votes for his political party we also had pc in the fray exactly like it is at this point in 2019 national conference fought against both both the parties and it won uh, the election i do not understand the nobility of what has changed right now because right now in 2024 we have exactly the same candidates and this time it would have been much better if engineer saab was outside if he wasn't in jail in heat campaign just like he had just like he did back in 2019 it, i mean it would have added to the spirit spirit of democracy it would have added to more fervor as it did in 2019 but what my point being that it is exactly the situation that we were in 2019 nothing new nothing novice and as we won in 2019 there was a nc wave as we kept saying if you look if you come with us to bandipura to kupwara to gurez to tulel to all these areas today we had a road show in magam it's an nc wave through and through as far as the candidates are concerned the more the merrier a dance of democracy is always better than the silent authoritarianism Okay, all right. Sujata Bashi, bring you into the conversation. Sujata Bashi, a lot of people have, of course, wondered why exactly uh, the DAP did not decide to contest from this particular seat. What really were the key reasons? Support to Engineer Rashid, as we earlier said that we want to support to an Engineer Rashid because you know, from such a long time, everyone has been released. The people who have been arrested, all the leaders in 2019 who have been arrested, got released. but why engineer rashid only is inside the bars what is the problem like what he has done such a crime that he... so so i don't understand why he has been still inside the bars what is the problem like either they know that he is a person that everybody wants him and they want they know he is such a down to earth person and he has really worked hard for that constituency for that north kashmir and i don't understand that is there there's any wrong thing that if he get get contested and if he wins and if he wins it's a definitely everybody can see that that the, who has worked there the people have to decide it so we will def, uh, we'll definitely uh, support to engineer rashid on but ms bashir do you feel that somewhere engineer rashid being jailed could possibly send out the wrong signal as far as your support is concerned no i don't think so what is the wrong in it like what he has done he has not done any murder or he has not killed anybody in a democracy like it is normal to protest for the people for the right of the people he has fighted he has always stand for the people of kashmir so what is wrong in it if you can't stand for the people of jammu and kashmir so what is then what is your side to be there so why he has been still inside the bars we don't understand when you can see the people every side of north kashmir wants that he should come out and he should be elected and the uh, and the wave of engineer rashid you can see it 
from every corner of North Kashmir, people are coming and supporting him without any, like, otherwise, if you see, they have the cars, they have the, such a big uh, shosha and all that thing. But Engineer Rashid, his son is fighting here. His son is fighting for his father. And definitely the people want him out of the bars and they want him that to come up with a leading here. Okay, and how do you view the so, how yes, do you view the contest from Sajjad Loan because it's a three way contest uh, in Baramulla. So, so let the people decide. It's not you or me or anybody else. Let the people decide which is the best one for them. So definitely Sajjad Loan he is fighting. So let the people decide who is the right person for them to fight it and to talk in the parliament for them. Okay, uh, Ifra Jahan, uh, how does the NC then view Sajjad Loan as a candidate? I seem to have G lost that line. G hello? Yes, yes. Ifra, go ahead. Oh, um, you can see me? Yes. Uh, if you were to ask me how the National Conference sees uh, Gulam Nabi Azad Sahab's support to National, to Gulam Nabi Azad Sahab's support to Engineer Rashid, my um, I mean, my take on that would be that it is the right of Engineer Rashid Sahab to fight elections. Just like it is the right of Gulam Nabi Azad Sahab to support whichever candidate he wants to support. So if uh, Irina Rashid Sahab is happy to take Gulam Nabi Azad Sahab's support, there is nothing, National Conference doesn't have a stand on that. Uh, there, I don't know if they're fighting in an alliance. Gulam Nabi Azad Sahab or Engineer Sahab, is it an alliance? Are they fighting together? Or is it just the support uh, that Gulam Nabi Azad Sahab has extended to Engineer Rashid? That is one. I think maybe a bit of clarity on that would help the debate. Uh, the second thing I would like to say is that while we definitely should talk about Engineer Rashid Sahab coming out of jail, we also in no case should forget that there are 6,500 other Kashmiri people languishing in different jails in entire India. They don't get the uh, they don't get the facilities to Zoom call their parents. They don't get the facilities to call their parents. They deny the facilities even to meet their children. Their children are harassed. If you've looked at it, if you've uh, kept a keen eye on what has been happening on the newspapers in Jammu and Kashmir, the children of separatists, I mean, separatists are in jail. The children are forced to come up and write an affidavit, in that affidavit, they're forced to mm, say that they now have, they, they, they actually, uh, uh, they um, commit their allegiance to the Indian sovereignty and territory. So such kind of intimidation tactics, uh, we also see that those people who are languishing in jails, their properties are confiscated, the families are thrown out of homes, the families have okay. nowhere to go. So one, when one talks about engineer Rashid, which we must, we must, cannot, and we should not, National Conference will not forget 65 other people and their families and what they're going through. Okay. All right. Ejaz Hussain uh, of the BJP also with us. Ejaz Hussain, I just want to understand from you, uh, the Home Minister has clarified just a few days ago why exactly the BJP is not contesting the Lok Sabha polls. He said that the focus will be on the Assembly elections, on uh, winning those 90 seats. Uh, but the Home Minister also said that the BJP's ground presence or... Uh, having a party machinery in Kashmir is not entirely sorted. If it's not sorted at this point in time for the Lok Sabha polls, uh, how exactly is the BJP sorting it out then for the assembly elections, which will just happen a few months from now? First of all, I would like to counter the lies which NC spokesperson uh, uh, Madam Ifra was telling. See, uh, there are prisoners, but there is not even a single political prisoner. All those prisoners who are right now languishing in jails are either in UPA cases or separatism cases or some terrorist and anti-national activities. So first of all, they should not, never propagate such lies uh, on national media channels. Second, BJP, as you know, BJP is doing wonderful work in Jammu and Kashmir, post abrogation of Article 370, we have done wonderful job. But we are not hurry, uh, hurry in opening our seats over in Jammu and Kashmir. As our Honorable Home Minister Amit Shah has clearly told, that we don't want that uh, people should realize that they are coming out to vote BJP because uh, they are favoring BJP. So uh, these uh, parties, we want democracy should flourish over in Jammu and Kashmir. As of now, in first phase also, you saw 55% of polling coming out. In, in, in rule of NC and PDP, it was never more than 10% of voting. So it's a good sign people are coming out and we must appreciate all the people. We tell you very clearly, we are not uh, like, we are fighting across India. BJP is a 
pan india party so it hardly matters for a bjp if we are contesting on two seats or not but definitely assembly polls we are looking after and inshallah in coming uh, whenever elections are conducted we'll definitely go with the uh, uh, assembly elections and very hopeful that people will realize actual what how bjp has changed their lives how bjp has improved their uh, living standard over in kashmir and how bjp has worked definitely uh, the people of jammu and kashmir are wise enough to decide their own fate as of now what uh, in north parliamentary seat what i personally observe is engineer rashid is getting sympathetic votes and okay. uh, faruq umar abdullah he is an out, he is called outsider because he if he had been guts he would have contested in central kashmir because he has purely and uh, and in last few decades the same uh, seat was held by nc they never spoke so people are really the good judges okay. and i am very hopeful all these parties who ever is contesting people will realize and will definitely vote for the parties who align with india okay. who align with idea of india okay i want to bring in utpal call as well utpal call uh, has the conversation then somewhere in kashmir changed uh, uh, and do you feel that it was a good decision on the part of the bjp to not focus on the lok sabha polls and instead uh, focus their energ energies on the assembly polls uh, similarly a similar decision also taken up by the democratic azad party uh thank you very much for inviting me for this very important uh, discussion let me tell you people of kashmir are totally happy uh, after uh, article 370 was abolished they understand truly how central government and uh, narendra modi and amit shah ji is uh, looking after kashmir like his own family nearly 50000 crores and i think it, uh, it in a big budget it will be 1 lakh crores uh, spent on development works in kashmir so people have understood what is democracy and now uh, the real democracy i know uh, i was part of a 87 election how uh, rigging was done in a 87 election and so there was a now they see now the real democracy uh, is flourishing in kashmir everybody is trying to come to polling booth to vote and i may tell you that uh, jamaat islamia is requesting uh, government of india that lift the ban and they will also participate in the election and this election let me congratulate all candidates uh, national conference pdp uh, uh, and uh, uh, ahmad uh, this uh, apni party and gulam nabi azad's party everybody is directly and indirectly involved in election and so it is a great festival of democracy but coming to baramula i have to tell you that it is a hollywood drama it is is a big interesting game because on one side is our former uh, chief ministers grandson Uh, father also chief minister and he himself was chief minister and the, i agree with the bjp person who was here he said that farooq uh, umar abdullah is considered in baramula constituency is outsider because he doesn't live the here he could have uh, contested from srinagar itself but he had no guts to uh, contest from there he thought he may lose but i think the main contest is between uh, uh, sajad loan and uh, engineer rashid and i tell you but there are some voters for uh, uh, apni party as well and also national con national conference has those voters uh, committed voters who are with sheikh mahmud abdullah they are not voters because of umar abdullah they are not uh, okay. voters because of farooq abdullah but they remember uh, whom they called baba i com uh, sheikh mahmud abdullah they have sympathy for sheikh abdullah and so the old generation some pockets in baramula may vote for uh, national conference but the real contest is between sajad loan and uh, okay. uh, engineer rashid okay. and i may tell you it's a, it is going very interesting because on one side in uh, in kopwara in langet uh, which is uh, engineer rashid's uh, place uh, sajad loan is doing big campaigning there in handwara yes in gurez okay. but at the same time there is a big campaign and there is a two kind of sympathy wave uh, with uh, engineer rashid one engineer rashid is uh, in jail and but i may tell you as i totally agree okay. 
with uh, the uh, BJP person who he said that there is no political prisoner. There are some hawala cases, there are some okay. criminal cases, there are some okay. killings on that protects people are in jail. Okay. So that is one issue. But there is All right, Mr. Call, Mr. Call, I want to let uh, uh, Ifra, uh, Ifra Jahan also respond to that. Ifra Jahan, respond to what Mr. Call is saying, that the real contest is between Rashid Engineer and uh, Sajad Lone, and the people who are voting for Omar Abdullah are simply doing it uh, as, a, as a tribute to the legacy of his grandfather and not necessarily uh, because they're uh, interested in uh, watching Omar Abdullah win. How do you respond? It's been, 25, it's been almost... 40 years since Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah Sahab has died. So for somebody to say that, oh, they are voting for Umar Abdullah because of Sheikh Sahab, that person simply is not acquainted with Jammu and Kashmir currently. But I like the enthusiasm that Utpal Paul Sahab and the BJP spokesperson showed for Engineer Rashid. Instead of questioning anybody, they did not question Engineer Rashid, they did not question PC, they did not question anyone. The only questions that the BJP has raised are against national conference, which is why I come to this point that when the BJP says that it's not in the electoral fray directly, we agree it's not in the electoral fray directly, but it has an electoral, it is there in electoral politics because it wants to defeat the national conference. If you look at Amit Shah, Amit Shah Saab's statement that he gave in Udampur two weeks back, he said, he, he said exactly what Utpal Kaur Sahab and uh, Ejaz Sahab here are saying. He said it doesn't matter if the, if the BJP does not win. But what matters is that the national conference should be defeated. And what matters is that the national, any political party, any candidate, anyone other than the national conference will get the BJP's support. So let's not say that the BJP is completely out of electoral politics. It's very much there in elections. It should start it's behind proxy parties. One last point I would like to make is that somebody said, why is Umar Abdullah, he's an outsider, why is he not fighting from North Kashmir? Again, you, the, probably the person is not acquainted with the new delimitation. In the new delimitation, Umar Abdullah Sahab's constituency, assembly constituency, Birwa, he used to fight from Birwa. Birwa is now a part of North Kashmir parliament constituency. Okay. So he is very much fighting from his own constituency. So, I mean, imagine if he had left his constituency and fought from central Kashmir, these are the same people who would have said, Are Umar Saab left his own assembly constituency and fighting from central Kashmir. Now he's fighting from his own constituency and we're getting told, why is he run okay. away? How is he run away? He's pretty much there. <laughs> okay, fair enough point. Ajaz Hussain, how do you respond to that? That it was, it was three generations of Abdullahs who ruled Jammu and Kashmir. So obviously we should question all We those. have never ruled Jammu and Kashmir. We were never elected. Yes, uh, you, have, you, have, you have Sheikh Abdullah as chief minister. We, we have Farooq Abdullah as chief minister. They were elected. It was not an LZ government so which was unelected. You know. It's not it was engineer not an LZ government that was unelected. And, or PC okay, he was, okay. He was, all right. Ifra Jan, Ifra Jan, I'll give you the opportunity. Ifra Jan, I'll give you the opportunity. Ifra Jan, I'll give you the opportunity. One second, I'm going to ask both the, one second, what's happening? I'm going to ask both the panelists to calm down. One second. Ajaz Hussain, Ajaz Hussain, listen to the question. The NC is saying that the targeting only happens for the NC and the PDP. There are no questions ever raised uh, towards anybody else. How does the BJP respond to that charge? Why should we question other people? All these people are unstable to people. <laughs> Directly question them. Engineer Rashid, he is fighting now. He was MLA for times. And we do question him. But uh, Sajjad Lone also, he, uh, he has been MLA for one time. So how can you expect that we should question uh, on behalf of Jammu and Kashmir? Those people who, who never uh, got elected. Uh, by... Okay, we seem to be losing that line with Ajaz Hussain. I just have a last few couple of minutes left. Uh, and I want to ask a pertinent question to all of our panelists, starting with Utpal Kaul. Utpal Kaul, I just want to understand from you, what do you think are the core issues as far as this particular election are concerned for Jammu and Kashmir? You see, uh, Jammu and Kashmir uh, is looking, for, looking forward now. As I told you earlier, we have seen uh, for last... 34, 35 years, terrorism, mayhem, uh, burning of schools, burning of uh, bridges, 
and i tell you who in kashmiri pandits uh, half a million 5 million kashmiri pandits became refugees and at that time there were two people responsible one was mufti mohammad said who was home minister of india and other was uh, farooq abdullah who was chief minister of jammu and kashmir what they did to stop this uh, exodus of kashmiri pandits so what i at this time if we have most important point should be how kashmiri pandits will return and how they will get their home and we want to ask this to each and every parliament member who will go to the parliament we will ask this to the state government we will ask this question to the central government that when will kashmiri pandits will go home and when they will have their home when to uh, a kind of new township what will be done for them because they are refugees living in tents and one man uh, one room hut met for all these years but at the same time there should be a development now they have seen how uh, the roads the road infrastructure is there how the iit uh, has come to jammu and kashmir how the aims have come to uh, how many colleges schools hospitals and so the development has seen great heights and on okay. the other side we is, we are seeing what is happening in pok they are fighting for the uh, wheat they are okay. fighting for rice they are fighting for the electricity bill but here in kashmir we have so much of development that uh, in jammu and okay, kashmir so ja okay. nearly 12 okay. million tourists have arrived last year yes okay so jata bashir what are the core issues as far as this particular election are concerned and what is the plan then of the dap even when issues such uh, as resettlement of kashmiri uh, pandits is brought up first of all nobody has taken them out of this place everybody and every time they are said to be come back but they don't want to come back and they want to set up the colonies i'm very sorry to say why colonies are you so much insecure when you sell your properties why don't you think that time you have to come back and who push you out of this place it means you put the kashmiri muslims to go and die here you should have stayed here and live with them whatever the conditions are so the people who have died here just you let them okay you die we are leaving nobody pick your hand and take you out of this place so jata bashir no yes let's not go into a history lesson ma'am no 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 right they now. are saying that what, what would you like utpal call to remind you of what happened in the 1990s yeah, of course we were here we were small kids here ma'am so let's not make insensitive comments and say that nobody pulled you with your hand and asked you to go away Yes, that's right. Let's Who not try to rewrite history, ma'am. Let's not do that, please. And as a political party of a Jammu and Kashmir, which all political parties today claim is a new Jammu and Kashmir, what really is the stance of political parties? If I ask you, what is your stance on the resettlement of Kashmiri pundits? I'm sure the last thing that the Kashmiri pundits want to hear is that nobody threw you out of here. You should have, in fact, stayed, even though there were calls for genocide. Like they can come any time. Any time. They have been every time welcome. Come back to your places. You can live with us. You can stay with us. And still, I am telling you, everybody. How will you make the space safer, ma'am? How will you make? Is there a plan of the DAP? It is no, no, nothing. It is the if it is a problem here, so it is problem for us also. It is not for one separate person or separate group. We are living here. We do. We are suffering day and night. So, but nobody stands for us. Mm -hmm. So last year there was a, so many a killings. Uh, last to last year there was a killing. So they were not a human. Why they are thinking that we are targeted? Here? Okay. Everyone is targeted. If they have to kill anybody, whether he's a, he's a Muslim, he's a Hindu, he's a Sikh, he's any community, they have. But when we are saying the things are perfectly all right, so it means things have been changed. Things have been changed after Article 370, and things have been changed from from zero to somewhere else. So there is a lot of changes in Kashmir. There is no terrorism. There is no hartal. There is no curfews. There is no that uh, pel uh, stone pelting and all things. So when they, you don't find all this, so it means things have been changed. So they can come any time. Why they are asking the colonies? What the colonies will do? Do you think their colonies are safe? When a person have to stay, they have to stay with the heart, with the brain, not with the that give me the security. Then I will come. If I go to Delhi, I'll say no, I am not safe in Delhi. Give me the security. I live there. This is not the question. The question is, they are welcome, and they are always welcome. They have been always welcome. Come back, live with us. Yes. Live what we want. So perhaps you should talk about how there should not be ghettoization, ma'am. You should. 
right as a political party perhaps there should be focus on talking about not creating any sort of a ghetto culture in kashmir rather than going back in history and saying that nothing happened and you should not have left in the no, first no, no, place no no i'm not saying nothing uh, happened if rajan nothing no ma'am you just said it you just said it you just said it, you just said it that people were all people were dying and it was only the pandits that went away and left the rest of the people to die anyway ifra jahan i'm running out of time ifra ifra jahan 30 seconds to you what are the core issues that people are voting for Okay, I seem to have lost that line. Uh, Ajaz Hussain, if Ajaz Hussain is still with us, I leave the last word with Mr. Hussain. So, what are the core issues? I am very. Uh, it's very unfortunate that Dr. Shujata was talking. is very unfortunate. I think uh, his party will be acknowledging it. And whatever she told about Panditis is very unfortunate. When there are circumstances, when there are circumstances, and this. Uh, Pim and Dr. Sujata is taking it for granted and doing such kind of statements. It's very no, unfortunate from her part. No, I'm not taking for part. granted. I'm not taking for granted. Okay. No, no, no. All you right. should never. You should never because it's a community and uh, we should respect them. We and they were thrown them. out we by Islamists, by jihadists. Their the their bodies were tortured. You should it. never. Okay. All right. I seem to be losing. I'm I'm losing all of those connections there. Uh, there's some internet issue, but I thank. Nonetheless, all of our panelists for joining us. We will, of course, have more and more conversations on Baramula because remember, it is going to vote in just uh, in less than 48 hours from now. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.